Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do reviews on music, video games, comparison videos, collection videos. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I'm uploading a video or two every week, sometimes more than two videos a week. So let's get into it. This is my Miles Davis Milestones collection. And I'd love to own more copies of this album that I just can't do to money constraints and space constraints. Uh, just don't have the space for it. Don't make the money for it. I wish I could own the best of the best. And this is really, I do have the best of the best of each album that I own. Multiple copies of certain albums. Uh, mostly the uh, more popular albums. That's what I have doubles of. But I'd love to own, you know, some albums I just own on CD. Some on vinyl only, just one copy each. But I'd love to own, you know, a CD copy of an album. The best CD version or Super Audio CD version. Uh, and a couple copies of that, that said a certain album on vinyl basically just to have the best on of both worlds you know in the digital realm and in the analog realm but like I said can't have everything we want so let's get into the milestones collection here by Miles Davis Mo Fidelity Super Audio CD of Milestones, put out in 2012, I believe. Yes. There's my number. I have them in these plastic, or, yeah, CD uh, album jacket or jewel case protectors, what, what have you. You can just get original album tracks here. There's also a vinyl version. I consider buying that. Uh, there's a little bit more than uh, original retail cost of this. But I opted for something else, and I'll show that in a minute. But this sounds really, really good, really clear. Um, it is in mono, so you're keeping the original uh, mastering here. Or yeah, I believe this comes with a booklet. Some of these do, some of them don't. Some of the standout tracks are like Two Bass Hit, Milestone, Straight No Chaser, Sid's Head. Uh, very good album this came out right before uh, barely a year before kind of blue if you guys want to see my kind of blue collection I'll put a link at the end of the video an original US mono press of the same album got a really good deal on this it's not perfect but it plays without any skips there's some pops and ticks throughout but that's perfectly fine and the jacket eh, it's in kind of rough shape but hey that's the music I'm after I don't mind uh, it being a little beat up that's perfectly fine original 6i mono pressing incredible of oh, this incredible album and this version of the album is pretty mellow compared to like newer masterings newer masterings are clear and a little bit louder I've noticed this sits in between all that, or in the back, so to speak. <clears throat> um, but it has great fidelity, really good fidelity. So you have Julian Cannon Adderball, or I'm sorry, Adderley, <laughs> John Coltrane on uh, tenor sax, Rick Garland on piano, Philly Joe Jones on drums, and Paul Chambers on bass. The man is still, or I'm sorry, I'm thinking Ron Carter. But, anyways. Yeah, fantastic album. I'd highly recommend these two versions I just showed of this album, or even the one CD Columbia edition, which I have that in MP3 format. Um, there's not now versions of almost every hit Miles Davis album on CD and record, and sometimes they'll bundle the mono version and the stereo version together in CD format and separately in the vinyl format. Um, so, pretty cool stuff. Pick these albums up if you can. It's a, it's you, even a good starter album for Miles Davis along with Kind of Blue. Those are two good albums to start with and go from there. So I do thank you for watching my videos and subscribing.